Welcome to Analytics with Nax. In this video, we are going to see about a time intelligent function MTD, QTD, and YTD in DAX. We are exploring Power BI using a business scenario, Naga Garments. For this business, he has some questions, and we are trying to find answers using a Power BI and with help of DAX or Power Query, whatever, whichever is applicable. Today, he got a question like, what is my cumulative sales quantity over month, quarter, year? And we can achieve it using MTD, QTD, YTD. And also, he wants to know, what is my financial year cumulative sales? If you haven't subscribed this channel yet, hit the button right now to learn the concepts in Power BI. Let's try to find answers in our Power BI demo. So we are in uh, Power BI now. So I have a simple model where you have a sales fact table and you have two dimension tables. One is product and another is uh, dim table. So I always recommend to have a dedicated date dimension. Uh, if you don't know why, just watch my previous video uploaded about uh, date dimension, creating a date table. So today's topic MTD, QTD and YTD. First starts with MTD. So what is MTD? If you have this uh, quantity, like each day how many quantity it has sold. So cumulative means on day 4th, it is nothing but day 1, day 2, day 3, day 4. These 4 total is together is considered as a cumulative total for day 4. And what is MTD then? So MTD is nothing but for this January month from the day 1 till day 31st. Okay. And what is my total? That is what my MTD is all about. And as soon as February 1st comes, the MTD will start from here for this month. Let us see it in action. Let's try to create one measure. So sales quantity MTD. So for that we have a measure called total MTD. Okay. MTD open braces. And what you want? So I want sum of quantity. The expression is nothing but your uh, aggregation or some kind of calculations that you want to perform. I want sum of quantity sales quantity and what you need to mention it here the date column that calculates that evaluates that MTD function okay so the date function is nothing but date column okay I need to mention the date dot date and I didn't click that team date as a date dimension so I need to choose this particular column I will create a separate video for it why you need to choose just like this so now what we are saying in total MTD is you calculate total quantity and use this dim date dot date column since uh, the sales table and dim date table is connected using this date column so sales quantity and I will make this as uh, sales table as my home table then hit enter let us view this um, MTD measure in our table. Sales MTD. There you go. If you see here, as I said, for fourth, it is 6 plus 6 is 12, and 12 plus 6 is 18, and 18 plus 8 is 26. So, like that, every day the total is cumulative. Every day, individual quantity sales or quantities sold is added okay that is what he was saying about cumulative and MTD as I said when you see on January 31st till January 31st it is 193 the total sales on January is 
193. When it comes to February, you see here, immediately it starts from this month, the beginning of the month, that is month to date, that is MTD function. This is your cumulative monthly figures or quantity sold. I hope you understand uh, what is MTD. So obviously, if you already guessed, the QTD is nothing but from the date, from the beginning of the January, the each quarter is considered as three month, right? So from the January, February month till I mean March, till March 31st, your cumulative data will be added. Then beginning of April, it will be new data. Okay, let's see by creating a visual measure. So I will say sales quantity QTD. For that, I need to use total QTD, then sum of quantity, comma quantity should be table and column name then specify the date okay dates dim date you need to close the sum dim date that date okay I hope you got this one. Now let us hit enter. Then I'll say QTD. Let's touch this table. Okay, now we already see about this. Let us try to have some filter so that it will be easy to understand. I have year year. I'll make it as list. Okay. So 2017, and you see that uh, MTD is uh, moving, and it ends at month one, 194, and your QTD also it's same. But as soon as February starts, this again restarted. Whereas your QTD it continues till quarter end. So let us go quickly. To our March end. So there you go. You see here this is the end of MTD and here the QTD NCL. Again it begins from the next quarter. So I hope uh, you understand about uh, QTD. Let us quickly uh, understand about uh, YTD. So YTD is nothing but till the beginning of the year and till the end of the year the cumulative total should follow and if the next year falls it should start from the count should start from the next year that is what ytd is all about let us create it so i want to show a new way let's skip this one so it's not all about you need to write DAX always so let me right click it and say like uh, prompt and um, we can create a new measure over there. So here is a window and what you want to do. So a lot of uh, quick measures can be created using people, those who are not familiar with uh, writing DAX, they can choose this quick measure option. Now in this case, we want year to date. So year to date function, what calculation you want. As I right click on the quantity, it is giving me default aggregation sum of quantity and you need to choose your date calculation okay so i will go for this date okay then click on okay so it has created me qt quantity ytd let us see uh, the data in this table Okay, so it started from here till the year end it will go that we know let us uh, remove these uh, two and Try to understand it in graph 
So when you see this quantity and quantity YTD at year level, both will be same because the QTD, YTD is nothing but starting of the year till the year, what is my total, it's cumulative. But this one aggregates each and every day and show it at the year level. So both will be at this same data. Now let us drill down to next level. Now you see the difference. So this green is your quantity and that is each month. Whereas your quantity YTD is month on month data. I mean the February data is January plus February. March month data is January, February, March. So like that. So now you can see the growth. I mean your business is uh, doing good in terms of um, uh, sales okay if it is flattened okay now in COVID case people are saying uh, we need flatten meaning there should not be any new but uh, cases happen in this case if it is happening flatten in this case it is worst because his sales is not happening in this case he has to be gradually growing so that is what he is trying to analyze using this YTD measure okay so let us see considering two year let me remove this quantity so now you see he can able to compare the 2017 and 2018 in the same graph i mean it is not the right way to analyze but i'm trying to show you how you can see the difference of ytd measure now if you ask me like uh, second question he has asked like we have answered all his first question quarter lower i mean quantity over month, quarter, year. Now, coming to his second question, what is my financial year cumulative sales? So he want cumulative sales, but this YTD figure that gave me from the beginning of January, but usually some people or most of the businesses wants to analyze from the starting of their financial year, that is from April or in some European countries, uh, it will be from... Uh, I mean, end of uh, your uh, financial year is uh, March and some countries it will be June, depending upon your uh, financial year. Now, for that case, I need to write a measure, I mean, similar measure that we created for uh, YTD. So, let us name it as sales quantity YTD financial year okay and total YTD expression is sum of quantity let me write it quickly and dim date dot date dot date now here you see the option like year end date forget about this filter Total YTD expression is your sum of quantity, dates is date, column, and filter. We don't have any filter now. And year end. So that gets a catch here. So you can specify when is your year end. So my year end is 3, 31. That is financial year ends. Okay. So instead of calculating the beginning, considering beginning of the year January, it will it will automatically consider the beginning of the year as April. So my cumulative will start from April when you use this measure. Let us see that. So I'm copying this chart and putting it below. I'm removing this uh, quantity by TD. Instead, I will go for financial year. Now you see here, your financial year by TD the cumulative total starts from April till the financial year March. This is the main difference between YTD with the calendar year and YTD with the fiscal year specification. That is, you need to specify which is your end of your fiscal year. In this case, it is 31st March. I hope uh, you guys like this video. If you like this video, share and subscribe to the channel. Comment below for your queries. Do remember that data is your asset.